don't build schools of things that we've done in the past. It's not fair to the kids. We build school for the future. It's a truly remarkable school that we have built for the kids of this county, and we think we've accomplished that here. This is an energy saving system, 400 wells, approximately 300 feet each. And it essentially takes the uh, ambient temperature of the ground, which is about 54 degrees, and pumps that fluid through the school. And it's used as a cooling and heating method. Typically a high school in Charles County, the electrical costs run between twenty and thirty thousand dollars per month. We anticipate that this system would save approximately twenty-five percent of that cost. And that spread over twenty years, thirty years, forty years will be huge savings for our school system. We have these perforated stair risers in the four-story section that will let a lot of natural light in. The more light, the less lighting, artificial lighting required. Therefore, it's an energy-saving component of the school. What you're looking at is the vegetated root. 44,000 individual plants put in there. They were all hand-planted. It will collect the water into two 50,000-gallon buried cisterns at the rear of the school. That 100,000 gallons will be used to irrigate the football fields, the softball fields, and the baseball fields. So we don't have to use water that comes from the county supply. We'll be able to use our own water supply to do the irrigation. The stadium, that'll hold about 2,000 on the home field side and about 1,200 on the visitor side. Any high school competition we can host, we can do all the track football, of course, we can do soccer, we can do lacrosse. It'll meet all of the high school requirements as far as dimensions, and it'll be state of the art. The gymnasium, we have telescoping seating that is in that will hold 1,800 people. We have three basketball courts. The wooden floor, the painting, it's all done, and we're very excited about the gymnasium. The auditorium, the fixed seating will be 268 people, and the telescoping will be 300 in some seats, bringing it up to close to 600 total in the auditorium for all sorts of productions and events that we may have there. Science on a Sphere has been a magnificent part of the school. It will be enjoyed by everyone and it is truly the wow factor. What we've gotten is a standard globe that's suspended from the ceiling with four projectors, one in each corner of the room. And these projectors project almost anything you would want. And it's a very good teaching tool. We have never built a digital classroom. Design was aided by Evanston Sutherland out of Utah, but we had to do the infrastructure here. We had to do the shell, if you will, around it. We had to put the seating in, we have to put the walls in, we have to put the insulation in for sound dampening. We can have surround sound concerts. We can have a lot of different venues in there in the digital dome, digital classroom and it will be fully used by the community, by every student in Charles County Schools. Okay. Polished concrete is a unique feature to this building. Very few other high schools in the state have it. It's a regular concrete flooring that is broadcasted on top of the wet cement with the glass beads, colored glass beads. And then this is ground into the top of the cement. And this will really highlight the colors of the glass beads. We have a blue family of glass beads on the lobby area and a red family of glass beads in the cafeteria. It just adds to the wow factor of this whole school. We're in the Media Center now, or IRC as we called it, which is Instructional Resource Center. Again, we're looking for 10, 20, 30 years into the future. We're not building libraries like we have in the past. There's very few bookshelves here. Everything is going to be computerized, digital here. Furniture is much more relaxed, like a college atmosphere. We can have collaboration areas in here. 
That's what we're trying to promote. There are two themes that come through in this school. One is vision and the other is collaboration. Collaboration is what we've done on the A section, which is the four-story educational wing, that outside of every science lab, we've added additional windows that look into the corridor. And on the opposite side, in the standard classrooms, we've enlarged and added windows that look into the corridor. So now these children can have a breakout session, work in small groups on projects that their teacher gives them. With the furniture that we have put there, much more casual furniture in these collaborative areas, so it's a much more relaxed atmosphere and very conducive to the children that are working in a breakout session. It's a matter of pride in the product that we've been able to accomplish. A lot of people participated in making this happen. And uh, it's just a real sense of pride that we all have in seeing this school completed. And I don't think there's anything that's gonna beat this school for many, many years to come.